by this example you should also uh, you should um, you should have the information and the uh, uh, exercises about the sample space uh, you should have that um, now we will have uh, examples about the event which is a part of sample space Uh, an event is a group of a sample space actually a group of elements or one element at least of a sample space now uh, let's get um, an example so everything will be clear now from the um, book we will have the example 221 and the problem tw uh, 221 uh, is about the event and how you describe the event uh, it says a digital scale is equal or is used that provides a weight to the nearest gram so no decimal places just a um, complete integer number grams what is the sample space you can say uh, sample space is equal to you can open parentheses either put numbers or uh, simply you can describe it by saying that all none negative numbers all non negative numbers no all all non-negative integer numbers all non-negative integer numbers or you can say it's the same thing you say 0 1 2 and so no limit because it says digital scale is used to provide the nearest gram okay uh, I bought non negative because zero is there uh, if it's without zero then you, s you should say all positive integer numbers so uh, we we said non negative because we have to include the zero there so uh, this is the uh, the sample space and it says that now we would like to uh, take an event from uh, this uh, sample space so this is the full sample space from 0 to infinity but it should be positive integer numbers or positive non-negative integer numbers okay now uh, let's let's solve this one or let's uh, describe the um, the first event which is event a it says do not that uh, denote the event that has or that uh, a weight exceeds 11 grams so it's exceeding 11 so 11 is not included so it says exceeds so a is equal to 12 13 14 and till the infinity okay now B it says that let B denote the event that a weight is less than or equal to 15 so 15 is included so actually B is equal to it's 15 less than or equal to 15 so starting from 15 to down or you can say from 0 1 2 until you reach 15 and 15 is included because it says equal see it says equal to so 15 is included now even C has two parts it says let's see denote that event uh, denote the event that a weight is greater than or equal to 8 so let's get started and write it down here c is equal to and it says 
greater than or equal so when it says equal so it is included eight and eight grams and less than 12 so it doesn't say less than or equal it says that less than 12 so 12 is not included so actually we are uh, going from 8 until 11 grams so it's 8 9 10 and 11 that's it 12 is not included okay so those are the events now he is asking at the same question he is asking for some um, some other questions so we can describe uh, so we can describe the uh, events and we will go ahead and describe them one by one it says we need a I have to write this down it needs okay question this is question a this is a now we'll get B B it needs a union B so uh, just simply it says a union B you can mention all the elements without repeating them so a we had a here a starting from 12 and 10 infinity infinity and B is starting from 0 until 15 so uh, you can say 0 1 2 3 4 until 12 12 you, you mentioned it one time and then you go ahead so it's actually it's the whole thing you can start from 0 1 2 0 1 2 until infinity because because a is from 12 to infinity and B is from 0 to 15 so they are they are covering each other and you should mention the element without repetition so you are starting actually from 0 to infinity okay so this is part B okay let's go ahead and this is question B question C it needs to know what is the event of A intersection B A intersection B so this is this is A and this is B uh, A from 12 until infinity and B is from 0 to 15 so they are intersection uh, their intersection will be at 12, 13, 14, and 15. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. Now, question number D. It needs to know A complementary which is actually all the all the element in the sample space except event A. So event A is starting from twelve until infinity. So a complementary is starting from 0, 1, until 12 is, is already in A. So you are, you are asking until you are telling that. Or you shouldn't include 12. So it's from 0 to 11. Okay. Now, question E it needs to know a I'm sorry this is uh, this is in the book I'm sorry this is 
this is A union B. I'm sorry. This is A union B. A union B union C. It's the same thing. It's already there. A union B, we got A union B, it's the whole sample space. So if you add C or you, you, you did not, so the answer will be the same. A union B is covering the whole sample space. Exactly like A union B is covering the whole sample space. Now you add C or you extract it, it's okay. So, uh, uh, I mean, you, you, you mentioned it or not. It doesn't make any difference. So uh, it's actually all S, or you can say 0, 1, 2, until or infinity, to infinity. OK. Or you can say, or you can say uh, it's the same thing. It's equal to S. OK. Question F. It is asking for a complementary of A union C. So first of all, we should know what is A union C. And then we go ahead and uh, make the, uh, find the complementary. A is from 12 to infinity. A is from 12 to infinity and C from 8 to 11 so actually A union C A union C is from 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 until the end or no limit actually at infinity from 8, 9, 10, 11, and it completes 12, 13, 14, because this is A union C. Now, the complementary is the old elements that are not in the event. And this is the event A union C. So we say the complement is from 0 to 7, because 8 is already included there. So from 0, 1, 2, until number 7. Okay, this is F. Now G, question G. It says it needs to know A intersection B intersection C. So this is A, this is B, this is C. And we need the repeated element in all of them. So let's let's have it uh, this way. First of all, A intersection B, and then we try to intersect with C. A intersection B actually 12, 13, 14, and 15. And C is 8, 9, 10, 11. We don't have any, any any intersection between them. Like the whole three are uh, has at least one common element in all of the three events. Uh, here it ends at eleven. Here it starts from twelve. So actually, C and A are not. There is there, there is no shared elements between them. So actually, it's five. Okay. It's equal to phi. So it means that we don't have any, at least we don't have at least one element 
that has to be shared by all three events see uh, look at this 8 is starting C is starting from 8 to 11 and A is starting from 12 to infinity we don't have any common elements between the two uh, the two events so clearly if we don't have a common element between at least two events so it means that we have an infinity for the intersection of all of them type uh, now um, H question H it needs to know B complementary intersection C which is equal to P complementary B complementary B is here from 0 to 15 so anything not in here so that's p complementary anything not in here so it's actually from 16 to infinity okay and c c is from 8 to 11 so it doesn't reach even 15 okay so no intersection between them between b complementary and c so we can say phi okay <clears throat> question I and this is the last one and this part it needs to know a union a union B intersection C which is equal to okay first of all we have to solve this between the parentheses and then we make we make a union with it so uh, a is known from 12 to infinity from 12 to infinity and we need to know B intersection C so this is B and C they are intersection uh, they had an intersection at okay okay here, here it's very clear 0 to 15 and C is from 8 to 11 so the whole element in C are intersects are intersect with B so actually you are saying actually this means that you said it's exactly like you are saying A union C which is equal to because because B, un, B intersection C C uh, look at this event C is a part of event B a whole element in, in event C whole element in event C is in there in, in event B so the intersection of them is simply event C okay so a union c is mentioning the whole elements without repeating the whole element of a and c a is from 12 to 15 and c is from 8 to 11 so it's from 8 to infinity 8 9 10 until infinity 